The search for the polio virus begins with a sick child. One day, Amina wakes up unable to move her arm and leg. She is showing symptoms of acute flaccid paralysis. Her parents travel with her to the nearest healthcare center. Each case of acute flaccid paralysis acts as a signal that polio might be circulating. Because polio lives in the intestine, the health worker collects two stool samples from Amina. 146 World Health Organization accredited laboratories around the world test around 200,000 stool samples from people with paralysis every single year. From this vigilant testing, 99.99% of stool samples come back negative for polio. But that tiny fraction of positive results tells the World Health Organization where the virus is hiding. Epidemiologists gather to analyze the data that is collected through the polio surveillance system. The answers they find help to predict the best way to stop the virus. In more than 70 countries, the World Health Organization helps to keep this system going. In this way, we can keep children like Amina protected from polio in the future. The work of thousands of people make the polio surveillance system the most extensive of its kind. From the most remote villages to conflict zones to huge cities, they find and stop the polio virus wherever it exists.